Hello all and welcome to the new video of JetBrains Aqua IDE. It is a powerful IDE for an automation tester. We all must be aware that Intellige and PyCharm are also coming from JetBrains. So, they have released one new IDE tool that is Aqua and it's absolutely free. In this video, we will see how we can easily create a Selenium, Playwright, and Cypress project. Using the inbuilt Web Inspector tool you can easily find the locators. You can perform API testing using HTTP client and how we can do database testing in Aqua IDE. We will cover all the things that are helpful in our automation testing. So for that what you need to do is go to Google and search Aqua IDE. Go to the official link. And click on the download button. Download the IDE based on your operating system. I have already installed in my system, so I'm not again install it. I'm just going to open it. And this is how Aqua IDE looks like. Let's see the first feature of Aqua IDE. You can create a Selenium, Playwright, and Cypress project instantly. For that go to New Then Project. And here you can see the Maven, Selenium, Playwright, and Cypress plugins. Using that you can create a separate project for each. If you're working with React, Angular, or Vue then also they provide the plugin for that. Let's create the first, Selenium project. Select Java language, select Maven as a build system and select test ng testing framework. Give demo alpha bin artifact. Now select the JDK version that you are using, here I'm using JDK 11. Select sample code and click on next button. Select reporting tools. Here we select the Allure report and click on the create button. Here you can see the Selenium project is created, and let's open in a new window. It will set up your project and download all the artifacts whatever is required from the Selenium point of view, and it automatically generates the sample code. Now here you can see one pom.xml file is generated, and it includes all the dependencies that are required. It includes Selenium, TestNG, Allure Report and other dependencies is there. Here you can see the Selenium dependency is there, and you can change the version of the Selenium. After changing the version here you need to click on the sync button, and it will automatically download the required dependency. Here you can see one main page class is created, and that includes all the locators. and one main page test is created. That is our main class. And it includes one before method where the first browser is open, maximize the screen, and navigate to the JetBrains URL. One method is after method, and it close the browser. Then there are three methods are there. Let's run this class and see what's the result. Here you can see, our test start run successfully. And it opens the browser. And navigate to the JetBrains URL. and click on the search button and send the Selenium keyword. Same the rest of the two test cases start run. After completing the execution of all test cases,
Here you can see our two test cases are passed and one test case failed. This is how we can create a Selenium and similar projects in Aqua IDE and manage projects, dependencies, and all super easy things. There is second feature of Aqua IDE is it, they provides the inbuilt web inspector, and using this we can easily find the locators and add them to our script without opening the Chrome browser. Click on the web inspector button. And open the site where you have to find the locator. Here I'm going to open the Alphabin demo site. So here I paste the URL. Here you can see the Alphabin demo site open. Now I want the locator of the search button, then I will inspect the search button. And it will give me the CSS and path for that locator with all matches. There are two matches. Now if I want to add this locator in my script, then I am going to the main page class, and click on the plus button to add the locator to the code. Here, you can see it successfully added the locator to my code with the proper variable name. This is a good feature for an automation tester to without going to the Chrome browser, within an IDE, they can inspect the element and find the locator. There is third feature is you can perform API testing within an Aqua IDE, which means you don't require a Postman or Swaggeroo to test the API. Let's see how we can do that. For that right click on a project or any folder, then new and select HTTP request. Give any name to request. Here I'm giving a demo API test name. And our request file was successfully created. Now we need a dummy API. So for that, we go to Google and search reqres.in. They provide a dummy API for testing. Copy the first API and paste it to the HTTP request file. Run this file. And you can see they give method name, status code, headers. And response body. Using inbuilt HTTP client, we can perform API testing within an Aqua IDE so we don't need to go to install the API testing tools. Now the last feature is to connect the database and perform database testing. Here, we need to follow some steps to connect the database and perform database testing. First step is to install the MySQL command client. I already installed that and it is very easy to install. You can download it. I will share the link in the description. Now I am open the MySQL command line tool. Type MySQL command client tool to start menu. And here you need to enter the password, which is set, when you install the MySQL command line client. Now we need to check how many databases are available, so for that type show databases, command and press enter. Here it will show the list of databases, and here we use the information underscore schema database. Now also, we need to check the port, so for that type show variables where variable underscore name equals port, and press enter. And it will give the port number. Here it gives the port value, and that value we need to give while creating a data source in Aqua IDE. OK back to Aqua IDE and here click on the database icon. Click on the add button then the data source and select any data source. Here we select the MySQL data source. Give any name to data source. Here we select the default name. 
Then here we need to give a port number. Where are my SQL localhost is running? Now enter the correct username and password to authenticate into the database. Here select information underscore schema database. And click on test connection. Here you can see it gives me the right sign so now I can able to add the data source and click on the OK button. Here you can see information schema is appear. Select columns table. And open it. Now we need to write the query, for that click on query console, and here we open the default console. Here we write the select star from columns, query, to get all the columns. And run this query. Here you can see our query run successfully. Let's run another query to get the data of the table underscore name column. For that, we write the select table underscore name from columns, query. And click on the run button. Here you can see it gives only table underscore name column data. All these features are very useful in automation testing. I hope you like this video. Comment down if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Share this video and... Subscribe to the channel for more videos on automation testing.